Before we start, if you're new here and enjoy the video, please be sure to subscribe for more NBA content like this. I'm trying to hit 9,000 subscribers before June, which will be tough, so all support is greatly appreciated. Be sure to drop a like as well if you enjoy, it really does go a long way. Anyway, Nikola Jokic, Carl anthony Towns and Joel Embiid have all been a hot point of discussion these last two seasons, as the debate over who is better is really hard to decipher. The answer to the best center in the league question always seems to be inconsistent and really depends on who you ask, so I'm here to hopefully clear up some of the confusion in today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be looking at the first center of those three, Nikola Jokic, and discuss where I believe he ranks among his position, the center spot, as well as where I believe he ranks in the NBA in general. If you guys do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like so I know to continue this series with Carl Anthony Towns up next. But with that all being said, let's talk about Nikola Jokic. Lucas. Nikola Jokic had a great season this year. He averaged 20.2 points per game, 10.2 rebounds, and 6.9 assists a night, and led the Nuggets to the third seed in the Tough West with a record of 43 and 22 just before the season got cancelled. Jokic led the Nuggets in the three major stat categories, and honestly, I think Jokic deserves a lot more credit for what he's done in Denver and how much he's contributed to their success. Let's be honest here, no one on Denver is really an all-star player apart from Jokic. There is no other player on the team that's in the top 25 players currently. I would even say Jamal Murray isn't even there yet too, as to be quite frank, he's been a bit disappointing this season. Jokic is a bigger impact player than it seems, and again, I think he deserves a lot more respect and credit for Denver's success these past couple seasons. So. Where does Jokic rank amongst NBA players today? Well, let's firstly look at where he ranks for his position. In my eyes, Jokic is undeniably a top 3 center in the NBA, and I wouldn't even be mad if you said he was undeniably top 2. Jokic's passing ability makes him a one of a kind player and really separates him from the majority of the pack, so I think you have to have him in your top 3, in my opinion, that's fair enough, he's just such a vastly different player to any other center in the league. But let's go a bit deeper here, because Jokic being a top 3 center is pretty obvious. The real debate starts up in this top 3, as there is seemingly rarely a consistent order of who the best center in the league is, and it's where most of the confusion and discussion is. Let's start by comparing Jokic to Carl Anthony Towns. Towns is an elite scorer and underrated playmaker, and his ability to stretch the floor for a big man is insane, knocking down 41.2%. Yes, 41.2% of his 8 three-point attempts per game. That is a beyond insane stat, and I haven't even mentioned his elite 27 points per game, close to 11 boards and 4.4 assists per night. However, whilst Towns does have these appetizing stats to look at, which are also very comparable and better than Jokic in most areas, one thing Towns lack is wins. This then allows for the argument that these stats are very empty and don't mean anything, as obviously, looking at the Wolves' abysmal record, they don't contribute to wins. This is why today, I have to give the edge here to Jokic as being a better player. Whilst Towns does have very similar stats to Jokic, his team does not win, and I know this can be blamed on a poor supporting cast, but with D'Angelo Russell and new additions such as Malik Beasley, I'm giving Towns less and less reason to continue to lose games. In my eyes, Towns is a top 15 player on a skill level basis, but due to his lack of success, he falls towards the 20 mark. Jokic and the Nuggets consistently win, and Nikola's elite playmaking and offensive ability plays a large part in that. At the end of the day, whilst Towns is very talented and the gap between these two is quite close, Jokic has to win out this comparison to me. Another player often considered a top 3 center, and before the season began, the undisputed best center in the league is Joel Embiid. 
Whilst this debate is not completely focused on this season, Joel Embiid has been quite disappointing this year. He's regressed stats-wise, failed to mesh with his team, and the 76ers have thus failed to be consistent this year, finishing as the sixth seed in the East. Am I going to blame this entire disappointing season on Embiid? No, because most of it isn't his fault. It's the 76ers front office poor ability to sign players that fit alongside their two all-stars in Embiid and Simmons. However, I think there was a lack of effort shown at times this season by Embiid, and perhaps poor fitness levels. Overall, Embiid has the potential to be a top 5 player in the game, and he really showcased that last season. However, that level of play was rarely on display this year, and it only appeared every now and then, which to me, makes me believe Jokic is currently better making him the best center in the league, in my opinion. Jokic is a better passer and playmaker, and Embiid is arguably a better scorer, at least in the post. Maybe shooting from range is a different story, and he's also a far better defender, in my eyes. But again, team success has a lot to do with this, and the Nuggets' great season, led by Jokic, gives him the edge also. This is not to say that the gap between these two is big at all, I'd say it's probably smaller than between Jokic and Towns, but yeah, I have Jokic as a better player than Embiid. Their stats are very comparable, there's not much difference to me, and in my personal opinion, Jokic passes the eye test better than Embiid, but that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think of this below, and let me know your ranking of these three big men below. With that being said though, let's move on to the next part of the video, where Jokic ranks in the entire NBA. In my opinion, Nikola Jokic is a top 10 NBA player. If we want to be a bit of a hater here, then I'd say at worst, he's a top 12 player in the league, and at best, I'd say he's maybe the 8th best player in the NBA, but I really couldn't go higher than that. I think the best ranking for him, in my opinion, is the 10th position exactly, because he's obviously not better than guys like LeBron, Giannis, Kawhi, Curry, AD, etc. But I think he's better than guys like Westbrook and Kyrie Irving, and he's obviously superior to guys like Tatum, Donovan Mitchell, and Rudy Gobert. Overall, I think having him around the 9th to 12th spot is fair, and that's where I would rank him today in the NBA. Overall, these are my thoughts on Nikola Jokic. He's an elite NBA center and should be an undisputed top 3 center, maybe even top 2, depending on who you ask. Though in my books, it's extremely close between Carl Anthony Towns, Joel Embiid, and Nikola Jokic, I have Jokic being a better player than all of them, and is the best center in the league, in my opinion. Though it is not a big gap between any of them, so if you have Embiid number 1, I wouldn't be mad at that. There's not much difference between them, which is why this debate is so interesting. Compared to all his peers, Jokic is top 10, and definitely has the potential to go higher. Nikola Jokic is a very special player, and a kind we haven't seen before, a playmaking big man. At only age 25, the sky is truly the limit for Jokic and his young Denver Nuggets team, and I guarantee you they will be a top team in the future, if they aren't considered one already, right now. And that will conclude the video. What do you guys think of this? Where does Nikola Jokic rank to you? Is he the best center in the league in your opinion? And if not, who is? Is Jokic a top 10 NBA player? Let me know all your thoughts down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop it a like and subscribe. But with that being said, I am out. Peace.